wait, no, let me rephrase. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Scratch that. Okay, this looks good. Wait, what if she doesn't answer? What if she's busy? No, 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 this is dumb. I'll wait. Overthinking. It's the nights I spend staying awake, not able to close my eyes, as I reflect on the mistakes I've made in the past, or the words I shouldn't have said, or the things I shouldn't have done. It's worrying about moments that will never happen, and then dwelling over the things that have. It's the constant need for answers to my questions, simply to keep my mind at ease, or the voice of criticism in my head, needing to create perfection. My mother always tells me that my younger sister and I are very different. She's at that age where she knows how to write. She's six and she's writing a book. I'm not kidding. Pages and pages of work with all sorts of spelling mistakes, food splodges, crease pages, etc. I was her age. I would write maybe one sentence within an hour and it would be flawless. Why? Because I overthought even the slightest details. There would be no mistakes with perfect calligraphy. In my case, I'm a perfectionist, and that's why I tend to overthink things. It's something I'm learning to work with. Problems, arguments, fears, challenges, insecurities, we all face them. Whatever issues life presents to us, whether big or small, we think about them, and that's no surprise. What I don't understand is why this overthinking is often referred to as a mental illness a disorder, or a condition. Oh my gosh, am I discovering that I'm mentally ill? I'm an overthinker, and I'm destined for eternal frustration. Google says overthinking is a risk factor for obsessive compulsive disorder, social anxiety, social phobia, workaholism, substance abuse, chronic stress, and even early death. You'll get millions of results saying things like, are you an overthinker? You've been poisoned. Great. Google has basically planned out the rest of my future will be going downhill from this day forward. But I don't believe any of it. None of this makes any sense to me. Why is this confusing me so much? Why is there so much pressure? Why do I pay such close attention to detail? Why can't I sometimes make simple decisions? Why do I need reassurance? Why do I always need everything to be perfect? Why do I have so many questions? Will I ever fix this? Do I need to? No. And that's my answer. Maybe all of this freaking out isn't necessary. Maybe overthinking isn't such a bad thing. The power of my mind can be very negative, but it can also be very positive. The key difference is that overthinking is bad when it prevents us from doing things, or from seizing the moment, or from taking new opportunities. It's that thing that controls people and makes them waste energy worrying about things that they simply can't change. It's that person that stays home and thinks about everything without actually doing anything. So if I'm going to overthink, I need to channel it towards something worth overthinking about. Problem solving, imagination, personal improvement, or even friendship. Something that truly matters that will make a real difference. Instead of, what's the caption for my next Instagram post? What do I wear for the party on Saturday? Or, do I text this person or wait for them to text me? What if the great geniuses like Einstein or Da Vinci didn't overthink their work? What would the world be today? I know I can embrace this overthinking because as Frederick Nietzsche said, you need chaos in your soul to give birth to a shining star. Overthinking can help you understand the consequences of your next actions and prepare you for what's to come. <laughs> There's times in life where I'll debate things to extreme detail, and that's fine. But there's also times where you just need to do things and ignore that voice in your head. Because, let's be honest, no one has time for that. I'm not going to stand here and tell you how to stop overthinking. 
But what I am going to say is that if you turn it around and control this thinking, it can turn into something much more powerful. The same way that you carry on your thoughts, that's the same way that you can stop them. I need to find the strength and mind power to say, that's it. Flaws don't define us. In fact, we can use them as tools. This awareness and this knowledge changes everything. Looking back to when I was a little girl, I used to spend entire afternoons sitting in my treehouse with my rainbow felt tip pens, writing and drawing the words I had heard in school that day. My treehouse was a place for me to be with myself and my thoughts. I was an overthinker then, and I still am today. 